Felipe, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Good, good. Felipe was saying like it's some nights it's Friday, some nights it's it's Saturday, some it's Sunday, and now it's Monday. What what's what's it like having that kind of disruption to your training patterns? And... Um, well, the patterns is not is it's not that it's disrupted that much because we work backwards from the day we we have the game and and we try to keep it. Uh, as normal as possible. Definitely, it's a bit strange or, or different. I don't know if strange, but different. We we haven't been used on playing on a on a Monday night, but um, it is what it is, you know. And 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 we are professionals, and we have to adapt uh, to that. Obviously, it, it gets a bit, especially for for people who has family and so on. Uh, um, it disturbs a bit, or, or the you get away of, of something more or normality of, of weekends and so on, but um, it is what it is. And I think it's it's part of the adaptation and things we've been learning in this period of since since March, you know, of of just living the moment and, and, and adapting as much as we can to, to what we are the, the, the different situations we are posed in front. Yeah, indeed. I mean, if you look at what happened with the Barbarians, uh, the women's French team, even the Irish soccer team in, in, in relation to COVID, um, wh whose role is it in Leinster to make sure that, that everybody, you know, is, 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 is applying or is as, as vigilant as they can be around things? Um, in fairness, I think it's, it's it, 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 we try to keep always the message every day, like continuously of, of, of uh, behaving as we have to behave in terms of respecting the the government's guidelines and and making sure we we have a proper hygiene, washing hands, keeping two meters uh, social distance, uh, wearing masks, and 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 it's not that we policed ourselves, but um, we keep we keep trying to help each other and and reminding you know if if we see. Uh, even even having lunch, you know, you don't want people crunching in groups and and and, and trying to keep their distance and and not not uh, we have cer certain um, things that we need to to acquire. So um, and in fairness for the boys, they've been really good, you know, in keeping their their bubbles uh, as as their social bubbles as as small as possible. Um, and and I think they know what is in stake. We all want to play. We all want to be. I think we are fortunate on on, on being able to to play rugby and and being able to to get out on every weekend and 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 play. So um, you don't want to be the one that jeopardizes that situation, you know. So uh, I think everyone has that in mind, and and they've been very good, very very good. So yeah, it's the way we. We keep doing, doing it. So, is it a privilege being considered uh, elite? Um, I don't know if a privilege or a responsibility, because it's it's more a responsibility, and that's the way we take it. You know, it's it's our it's it's our responsibility to make sure that we we keep um, we we don't jeopardize the opportunity for for us to play, but also for supporters to enjoy. Um, the, the, the game and, and seeing Leinster playing uh, for the league to keep going and and, and you know and, and, and it's part of of, um, of the way it is and, and and I think yeah you said privilege or, or I think we are privileged in, in being able to do what we love to do but but it's a huge responsibility and, and that's the way we need to take it as a, as a responsibility you know you're using this time to, to blend um, experienced players with, with new caps and, and 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 new players like the likes of Toner Bent, Fardy playing with like uh, Hawkshaw, Sheen. Um, is is that a policy or is is it a way of, of bringing new players in? I think it's what we have as well, you know. But but for for me, especially for me, and and I will speak personally now. It's 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 a it's a great great time of the year, you know, because it's it's where you really love coaching 
um, and 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 as you said, bringing not not only experienced guys but only uh, like five new cups in the last uh, since since we started and and some young players coming through and and that's where what's coaching about you know and and trying to bring give them your experience and and transmit and transfer some of the knowledge and uh, so it's really um challenging for 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 us as coaches these moments but they are the i, I think some of the best moments throughout the year you know that block when you have like 20 international players with Ireland and and more so with the the way it is now with those bubbles that you can't cross over many players and and so on so uh, it's great it's not that we design it like that it's it's the way it is and 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 we we got on with it and 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 I think it's great opportunity for many of the players and and in fairness, the environment creates that competition that when some even young players playing their first games, uh, when they when you're give, when they are given that opportunity, they want to take it, you know, and and what we try to do is to prepare them or, or set them the best we they can and the best we can to help them succeed. And, and that's what we we try to do, you know. So there's a, there's an unknown in every game for you. So there must be a certain amount of anticipation around these games. Well, sorry, I, I didn't get it. The, 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 there's the, with new players. There's an unknown to you as yeah. a coach, and and there must be a certain amount of anxiety or anticipation around that. Um, yeah, more more than 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 anxiety or anticipation. It's more it's the excitement, you know, to bring in uh, those young players, and it's it's. You work and, 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 and it's the trust you give them and, and and I think you can trust them because they work so hard and and for me it's not unknown, completely unknown because I know them from the academy and I keep an eye and you can see players. It's, it's just um, my challenge or, or what I see, my responsibility is trying to help them set them up, set them well for them to succeed and, and that's that's part of, of our job as coaches, you know, and, and, and in fairness, they are great, great guys because they, they do everything they can to, to play their best rugby, you know, and, and as I say, it's a very enjoyable moment or, or part of the year, you know.